I had a dream last night, well, it was more of a nightmare actually, where I found myself in a motor race, but I was in a Suzuki Cappuccino, which as you can imagine, did not end well. But it got me thinking, can I take the Cappuccino, one of the slowest and most horrendous cars in the entire game, and beat full-blown GT cars with it? Well, let's find out. So first things first for our little challenge, we have to get ourselves a benchmark. We need to go and get ourselves a suitable GT3 car. So here we go, let's go to group three. These are the cars that we've been using recently, but we don't want that. We're gonna pick the one with the highest performance points, the Corvette C7. 792 performance points, 768 brake horsepower. This will do nicely. Right, so welcome to Sakuba then. A place that I don't know has ever hosted a Corvette GT3 car. I don't know. But this thing is a monster. The most powerful car in Group 3 on Gran Turismo. Just listen to it. Pure American muscle. And it just wants to absolutely destroy you on every single curb. Every single acceleration zone. It just wants to kill you. Listen to it. Oh, it's good. Oh, it almost got me there. Right, let's go. The back straight here. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. The last time out, we tried something similar in a Samba bus. That was difficult. But I don't know if we've bitten off more than we can chew here. Because the gap between this and the cappuccino is going to be insane. 54.134 is our time. So now we've set a benchmark time in the Corvette, let us formally introduce the Suzuki Cappuccino to the video. So this Corvette is a V8 with almost 800 brake horsepower. The Suzuki Cappuccino is a 0.7 litre 62 brake horsepower machine. Absolutely horrendous. There is no way in hell, surely, this thing is going to be able to... Uh... <laughs> I don't know. But try, we shall. Let's go. So after setting a 54 second lap in the Corvette, let's see, well, I was about to say, let's see if we can beat it in the Cappuccino, but it's fairly clear we're not going to beat it at this stage. But let's see just how far we are off and how much work we've got to do. But we're on the comfort medium tyres. We've got the 0.7 litre turbocharged. I don't know what it is. I think that says all you need to know there. We don't get quite as much oversteer and power sliding on the way out. We still can't take this flat though. The Corvette finished just now. My word. Right, let's chuck it in here, shall we? Go, 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 go. What's the time going to be? 54 seconds to beat. A 1 minute 19.839. So about 25 seconds we've got to find. Welcome back to the garage where our cappuccino now looks a little bit different. So the first thing that you can see is that we've changed the livery. We've now got a Death Wish coffee livery on this, which I think is going to be more appropriate to describe, well, exactly what this car is like. Let's go into the setting sheet here and let me talk you through what we've done. So first of all, we've ripped out the engine. The old cappuccino engine is gone and we put in an RX-7 engine, which has given it 499 brake horsepower. So what we've done, we've basically upgraded all the power and stripped all the weight out of it. So the weight now, after the many stages of weight reduction, is 691 kilos. Combine that with the 499 brake horsepower, we've got a pretty good power to weight ratio here. Welcome back to Sakuba. And I've lasted literally two seconds on track. I was gonna say, it feels like, it sounds like we've created a monster. Just from the countdown. 
That thing is. Ugh! It's wheel spinning in fourth gear and it doesn't stop. What have we done? I mean, I thought the uh, delivery was going to be appropriate. I didn't realise it would be this appropriate. So I should say that we have not upgraded anything else. We've just done the engine. We've just done everything that gives it more power. And we've stripped out the weight. So none of the other components which is, have been changed. Which is probably why it's handling and stopping or not in the manner that it is right now. So we've just put in a 115.277 which is already a fair amount quicker than the stock car. I mean, we're still far away from the GT3 which I believe did it in around 55 seconds and the stock cappuccino did it in around 1 minute 20 oh. so I'm going to give ourselves 3 laps here to see what we can do stop right I mean just one clean lap would be great Rory I think I already know the answer Right, let's go. Last attempt here. Just braking way earlier than I thought I ever would. We're halfway down the start. Finish training, I'm braking. Get this thing stopped. We've gone a bit deep, but we're not off. Plenty of oversteer on the way out. This thing likes going in a straight line. It doesn't really like turning, which at Sakuba is not ideal. Half throttle. It still wants to kill me. Right, we're up though. Let's try and keep this. Come out of here in third. Okay. See the finish line. And then get on the power. Oh! So our third lap was a 1 minute 10.1. So about 10 seconds up on our best time. And tune this thing a little more. Well, that was quite the experience, wasn't it? Right, let's get back to the garage here because I want to start putting some things on this car so we can get some control. So just to recap, we've got max BHP, minimal kg, so maximum power, minimal weight. Let's change the suspension, make sure that's on. So we've got fully customizable suspension. We've got the differential. We've got transmission. We've got... All the brakes, they're all racing now, and the drivetrain is racing as well. Let's get back to Sakuba and see if that gives this thing, it gives us a little bit more power. Because I think we're there, but it just needs to stop. But we've got three more laps here to see if we've got a car that can challenge oh, the GT3s. How many times am I going to hit that wall today? No sets of tyres are going to help you if you just don't brake in time, Rory. Right, let's go. We'll get used to it here because it's like a different beast every time I take it to this circuit. When we first took it here, it was slow. It was manageable. We then gave it loads of power, stripped all the weight out of it, gave it a new engine. So it would go really, really fast in a straight line, but that would be it. Then we gave it some sort of racing peripherals, if you like. Changed all the suspension, changed all the gearing. But still, it was a handful. And now, I mean, it's the best it's felt so far. But it's still a bit of a beast. Right, 59 seconds. So we're within, we're within five seconds already of that GT3. Considering we started 25 seconds off, we're within five seconds. Do we finally have a car? That we can take into a race and actually battle these GT3s. Wow, this thing's going 100 and 150 miles an hour down the back straight. <laughs> this thing's a beast. Right, let's go. One last shot. 54. Oh, 55. No. Oh, it's just too much of a beast. Right, I need to get out of time trial mode. I need to get into a race because I think... I think we've got a car that can compete. 
let's go. This is it. Welcome to race day at Sakuba, where we are going to go up against 19 other GT3 cars. We're going to start from the back in 20th place. We've got three laps in our souped up cappuccino. Can we beat the GT3s? I think we got it up to a state through various tuning, and various lessons learned to get up to speed with these guys. But can we do it in a race? Let's see. 19 GT3 cars and one Suzuki Cappuccino, if you can even call it that. Considering what we've done to it. Right, let's just be super careful in here. Oh. We're in a rush, but these AI just do not care. Getting destabilized by anyone. Oh, there's a bit of traffic jam here. Go. This thing, though, is mightily fast. But we'll kill you. Oh, the Mustang's gone for it. Right, it's been a good start so far. Let's go. Look at the speed of this thing. No, I can't get around there. Can we squeeze around here? Go. Right, this is good. Up to eighth by the first lap, but... I'm concerned about where that leader is. Stop, Rory. Stop, 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 stop. Look at where the leader is. He's already down by the hairpin. Quick. Oh. A robust one there. Right, this is it. Nobody else now. Let's just be careful here. I do not want to lose it on the way out. Let's go. Fastest lap for us. Get it stopped. No, 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 no. Come here, you. what I mean about it being unstable. I just want to I just want to wait here, wait till the straight. Wait till the straight. We know we've got the power. Let's not do anything silly here. We've come too far. We've been in too many barriers. Let's go. Get the power down straight. Let's go. Right, it's not over yet. One more corner. And let's go. We've just beaten GT3 cars in our Suzuki. Cappuccino. <laughs> Probably quite an apt end as we lose it over the mine, but let's go. I did the same thing as what you've just seen, but with a Samba bus. Click here to see that video. If you enjoyed this one, you're going to love that one. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next one.